with us and we will help you fight the Tory government and make sure they fund this NHS as you need it to be funded. We want the truth. I, but I don't think, I think you've got to take Conservative, Socialist, whatever out of it. The NHS is suffering today very badly. It is because it's stopped. It's cash down. It's stopped. And it, all, it always was. If you go back to 1948, it's gone through these periods when it's always been cash down. Today, it's really cash down. You know, 80% of trusts are now in debt. But you know what, Miss? I think this is so because of that. Because of that, I think it's actually really important. I think we might have more common ground. Than yeah, we, did here sure. today. we should fight for because ourselves. We, what we need to do is campaign for more resources. Now I know that your job, and it's a hard job, is to try and juggle with the resources you have. Yeah. And actually, I think you don't do a bad job, Absolutely give right. or take a few millions of private management consultants, yes. which I'd yes, advise you not to. However, but the point is, they come and you would say you have to live in the real world, be realistic, we can't get more money. But there comes a point, and maybe we've now reached a tipping point as NHS providers said last week, where it's so clear to everyone there aren't enough resources that yeah. really, yeah. genuinely, I know yeah. you're a little bit hijacked here, but I am making this as a no, genuine no, 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 thing to save our hospitals. I'm interested to talk Can to you because we you, we're all on the same way. We're all on the same way. Well, our problem is, is that we do not think there's going to be enough capacity in the system if you do this reconfiguration. Well, at, the moment, at the moment, you're absolutely right. And we can guarantee that nothing would change until there were other things in place. Now look at what's happening in Ealing. Ealing had exactly the same guarantees and we now hear the closures will be forced through as soon as possible and it's fairly explicitly for financial, for financial reasons. So if that was true of Ealing with NHS England, why should we feel more, conf more confident that it won't happen if yeah, we're in yeah. Well, I think you hit the nail on the head. It's very difficult for it to happen because the capacity just isn't there at all. You know that it really is it's a big problem. Waiting times are a big problem. Uh, referral to treatment is a problem. And so, you know, this is happening not just here but throughout the country. The, the finances are very, very strained. There is a belief that we are very inefficient. I don't believe we're very inefficient. Not at all. I think, that on the head I think we're extremely efficient. Our and so do we. And we were so do we. They work extremely hard. We absolutely agree on that. So this belief that we're inefficient and not managing We absolutely agree joke. with that. We yeah. agree with that. So something's got to give. And I'm very pleased that NHS providers actually and stood so up we. and told the truth. Yes. Because nobody likes to tell the truth. Exactly. Nobody likes to stand and say, look, there's a problem here. Exactly. And the problem is funding. Exactly. Yes? But, but can we come back on that issue of funding again? Because it's a political choice how much money is actually being spent on the health service. England has a very very small percentage of GDP being spent on the health service compared to the rest of Europe and even more significantly compared to America. Now what we're seeing is the NHS being pushed down a route where it's having to privatise, where it's being pushed towards privatisation rather than having to by all the sorts of plans that are coming up. The SDPs include these ACOs which are a nice little element of privatisation. I think, I think, and I think and be yet those privatised things are actually, both through the commissioning and through the private companies raking off profit, profits, are actually making the costs of the services more expensive rather than less expensive. Yes. But let me, let me just explain something to you, which is fundamental, and I think we need to all understand this. We have the only tax-based system in the world. So when you talk about Europe, France spends 12% of GDP on healthcare. It's an insurance-based system. They don't pay all the healthcare costs. 30% of the costs are paid by the individual, 70% paid by the insurance companies. America is totally insurance, you know. That. Absolutely. So we what what I believe and look is how gonna inefficient happen. it is, how expensive and, is and how inefficient. Oh, oh America, you, can, you can't compare America. The, but if you look the, at European the countries, European. the yeah. Commonwealth, the, the, whatever it was, the search body, yeah. only a few years ago came out with the conclusion that our NHS was the most efficient and the most effective in the world. Yes. 
Do you know it why? Is. Because these people work 18 hours a day. No, no. They're I, unbelievably I've efficient. Never, yeah. I, I have actually, never I spoken it. against no. the NHS. I think, I think well, that's the why, is, but we're killing them now. You know, this is the problem. We, of course we are. But we, are, we have got common ground on this. And actually, outside of this, it would be really useful to focus on yeah. this. But you need to know that we are not kind of Luddites, wedded to brick and mortar, and not wedded to any change in modernisation. But we do think that... And we know that you're under pressure to say, yes, we're coping, that's how market systems work. But well, there should be an announce now, and we're making the suggestion, let's work together to say to central government, actually, there are not enough resources to deliver a safe and efficient system in North West London. We would absolutely work with you, like hand and glove, if we did a joint approach about that. Because to be honest, your approach at the moment about closing a queue, closing community capacity. Well, we're not closing anything. Else. Well, no, but that's the plan. But the plan but that's is the plan. still yeah, but very much there to without a financial strategy to achieve it. But this, but this plan was put together a long time ago. Right? It was, and, and it things was have changed is, dramatically. Things no, but, have changed. No, but the time it was put forward, there were all. <laughs> you, know you, know you know factually that the STP is planning the closure of. No, but Charing Cross and Ealing yeah, and 500 plus The SDP plus just takes what's shaping a healthy future Arena. and dumps it into the SDP. Yeah. But if you want my opinion, and we've got to watch this and you'll have a talk about it tonight, but maybe the SDP, maybe they're the way to go, but the only way to go if everybody gets around the table and agrees, because then we should be able to get more funding, hopefully, but we've got to make sure that that happens, well, but that's how we work together through something like an SDP, but we've got to keep an eye on it, because yeah, that's not great you've got one, of, you've got one between... of the worst deficits in the country, yeah. and you're asking for, is it half a billion? The redevelopment. The, the oh yeah, there. but but that would not. That's nothing. There is no capital expenditure for redevelopment. So that would have to come from our own resources. From selling off the land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because you can't. You can't when do it's anything otherwise. Well, There's no capital. Well, well, exactly. And to be honest, that feels like selling off the family. Selling. Yeah, but we have no choice. You know. No, but you do you have, do a have a choice. Work with us. You have a choice. Oh, yeah, but this, to you say aren't get 500 this million. isn't. Not us on our own, but if there is enough of a move about the people you can see. Yeah, well, anything you can do, anything you can do to help us, it but will be very. No, no, no. Yes. Anything you can do to help us, because we're that's all working the, together. That's, we're not. We might we say we might work. like to, but we're not. Okay. You, that's you, your opinion. You are no, actually, what? you are actually not getting up and saying to the government. The amount of GDP spent on health is inadequate. No, no, no. You you've got to be careful with GDP. You've got to be careful with GDP. There isn't there, enough money in the resource. healthcare but, system. But Merrill's general point is we both agree there isn't enough funding to come to the NHS. Absolutely. So what we need you to do is speak up and back up NHS providers. And, and we, we, we were with NHS providers when we talked about that. There's no question that we are on the same wavelength. But it doesn't help if your your then your strategic plans imply that you can do all that you're saying to do in the funding no, envelope we, No, we, we can't say that. But that's, that's what you're saying. saying. It isn't what we're saying. It is, it what is we're saying the is the only way that we can build modern hospital facilities for you in the community to give you better healthcare facilities is we work in 18th, 19th century facilities. You've been around some of these. Pardon? 20th century in, in Charing Cross. 18th century 20th in St century Mary. In right. Then why pick on Charing Cross, which is a purpose-built hospital? I'm sorry, but it's not fit for purpose today because those towers are, are, are a nightmare. They've got electrical problems. They've got all sorts of problems. So we Listen, need to rebuild. That, that could all. That could all. I'm sure. We, I'm sure. Whichever way we could twist that either way. Do you know? What yeah. I mean? Whichever one came up. Our point is, is there's not enough capacity and no, losing, I agree. Five, well, losing 500 plus beds is going to make that Well, you're not losing anything because there ain't any capacity. No, and that's why we're fighting now. <laughs> that's why we're fighting now. All right. Anyway, so what we And make sure you call us. Yeah, we will. All right. But, you know. Mr. Sight, I felt I was so Richard. I felt I was extremely logical. And That's what I'm saying. You know, and I'm prepared point to right. be excited because it's an exciting and scary time. Yeah, take the money exactly. to heaven with it. No, that, well, that's a very blasé attitude. Take it is a blasé attitude. 
it isn't about the attitude. There's nothing I can do about it. No, there is no money. And I can't get it. And if there is no money, nothing. Oh, we speak of all the time, believe you. In public, I'm glad to hear that. Okay.